folks have had a subscriber ask about uh, sidebars and how to maybe eliminate them if you don't want a sidebar on, on a page in um, in Avada, Avada with WordPress. And so I'm here looking at, at uh, one of the pages on my site. This is the music audio page on TonyLeeGlenn.com. Let me just jump into what might answer this person's question. Uh, let's go in. Let's see. Uh, first, let me find that page. And what I've done here, of course, I've, I've gone into my... Uh, administrative panel for my page and I'm, I've clicked on pages so it should be showing me all the pages on my site and there's music and audio right there so I'm going to say edit and uh, this person is wanting to use the 100% width I think or maybe just full width um, I prefer to use the full width not the 100% width I don't like my web pages to, to fill up you know on a 1920 by 1080 screen a big I don't like them to be too widely spread out so usually I use the default template but I'm gonna go over here tonight I'm gonna use full width and what that's gonna do rather than being a hundred percent width of the of the browser it's gonna be the full width that the page is set up to or that the side is set up to so I'll go over that in a minute just uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over here and show you uh, let's, let's first let's update this and we've just saved, I guess. I'm going to go over here. So here's how the site looked before. I did have a sidebar over here with some ads and things in it. Good grief, ChineseLady.com. I never know what is going to advertise. On my, I just, I just, I, I try to make a, you know, a penny or two off some of these ads. I did not know that I'd have a ChineseLady.com on here. <laughs> Good grief, that's hilarious. So embarrassing. I do not you know, hit on Chinese ladies. I'm married to a Native American lady. And here I'm going to hit a refresh, reload this page. And here's how this page should look. So now I've got a full width page. It's not 100% the width. It's more it fits in with my graphics and stuff here. And it should still be since Avada is uh, is scalable. It should be responsive. And there you go. You can you can uh, see the picture of me there with the guitar, and it and it flows really well. And the sidebar is gone. All that's all that's happening out here is this picture is floating, right? Uh, don't think. I mean, I think if I had additional text out here that was longer than this it would it looks like it's going to keep on flowing it would go all the way out to the edge i don't have long sentences out here to see but so there you go uh that actually worked for that now let's take just a second to talk about sidebars though i'm going to go back to this page i'm going to uh, a lot of times i think it particularly for people who are just getting started with with wordpress and, and also with avada they get a little confused about how to set up a sidebar so i'm going to talk a little bit about that um Usually you go here and you've got sidebars right under appearance. We're going to go to sidebar. Let's make a custom sidebar. And I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to say add a new sidebar. So I have a couple sidebars. I have uh, just adds three. I guess is what I call what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to add a new sidebar. We'll call it Tony's Sidebar. T-O-N-Y-S-S-I-D-E-B-A-R. Okay. So we've made this sidebar, but there's nothing in there yet. So how do you do that? It's kind of odd. You'd think you'd go under sidebar or something, but actually you go under widgets here. And then we're going to, widgets will pop up, and you can see Tony's sidebar over here. And if I click down on this, you'll see there's nothing in that yet. So here is where you actually pick what things go into those sidebars. Like um, here's a, it says blog sidebar. I've got a blog sidebar here. But let's say I want to put, a, I don't know, a search. And you just grab and you pull that over here into that. And let's say I do want my recent posts. I go ahead and pull that in here too. Uh, title, I could say search my site. Uh, title, say Tony's most recent. And we could show maybe 10 posts or 15 if we wanted to. What the heck? We'll say save. We'll say save. Again. Saving both of those. So you see I could put anything I want to in here. If I want to put text in here, like from a Google AdSense. If I want to put a Google AdSense sidebar in there, I could pull text over, copy their uh, HTML, and paste it into that and have a sidebar. That's what I've got going down the side of the... Uh, of the sidebar now. So now I have this Tony's sidebar and I've saved everything in it. So I'm going to go back to my page. I'm going to go back to pages. Let's go back to this music page that I've got. And here we go. Where was it again? Down here. 
edit, okay? And with the Avada theme, uh, I can't remember if it's this way with all the other ones as well, but with the Avada theme, for sure, you just go down here to the bottom to where you see uh, these options down here, and you can go to sidebars, and I get to pick what sidebar I want on here. I'll pick Tony's sidebar, okay? I'll use default template. Okay, let's make sure that my sidebar is still chosen right. Still Tony's sidebar. Now we'll do an update. And now we'll go back and we'll refresh. And we should have that new sidebar in there. And now we've got search my site and Tony's most recent posts. And there's like 15 of my most recent posts there. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, one of the other questions this person was asking is how to change sidebar width. Uh, I will go back over here for, for a moment. If we go into appearance... And we go under theme options. Okay. There's a really cool place here where you've got site width. And you might have missed this. Uh, under site width, you have here content plus sidebar width. So I've got an 1100 pixel wide sidebar. I'm going to click down on this and I can see that right now I have my content width set to 75%, my sidebar width set to 25%, and then I have some padding in between. So I could easily change that to like 50-50 or 85-15 or something like that. This 75-25 usually seems to work for me. And then once again, it's, it's very, still very much responsive design here. And it, if, if it has to get too skinny, then it reflows. And you've got all your uh, posts and things there underneath. So once again, there you go. It's a cool way to maybe work with sidebars. If you've not worked with sidebars in Nevada. And uh, how to eliminate a sidebar. I don't like so much to do 100% width. If you do it, just like everything stretches way out. I'll do like full width though sometimes if you don't want to have a sidebar. Folks, I hope that's helped and answered some questions to my subscribers. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe if you like. If you have a question about Avada, I'll tell you how I change stuff. And maybe it's right, maybe it's not the best way. But it's the way I know how to. And I'll help you work through your problems. Thanks for watching.